Good evening and welcome to tonight's episode of Ask Leah. There's a reason I'm wearing my Dangerous Female jumper tonight. Dangerous Females is a collective of women here in Australia that raises much needed funds and awareness for organisations that support victims of domestic violence. Now, I get all sorts of questions uh, posed to me when I throw it out there uh, for Ask Leah. And this week I received one that uh, it really broke my heart. Someone reached out to me uh, seeking communication advice because they thought that's what they needed. They were seeking communication advice on how to communicate with their partner in a way that would uh, make them more open to caring about what this person was experiencing and the damage that their communication was doing to them. These people are in a really tough situation and uh, her husband is not coping. Now, there was some alarm bells straight away. Uh, this person emailed me because they couldn't uh, text message or Facebook message because those messages would be read by their partner. They then uh, outlined some scenarios, uh, you know, some really challenging scenarios about the way he communicates and tries to control her. Uh, my communication advice is not relevant in that situation and I did very gently uh, respond to this person and I won't go into the details of how I responded except to say that I offered uh, support, uh, some resources and some organisations that she might like to reach out for. You see, yes, we can do everything we can to communicate at our best, to help improve the response of other people. You know, we do that at work, at home, we can adapt and adjust. All of those tips that I talk about so often when it comes to improving your communication to improve the outcome you receive. However, sometimes the issue is not about your communication and it doesn't matter what you do. It's about the other person's behavior. They're the one who is out of line. They're the one who is not appropriate. And anything you do um, is not going to change that. So if you haven't already watched the incredible three-part documentary series on SBS On Demand, See What You Made Me Do by Jess Hill, I encourage you to watch that. If you are up for it, I highly encourage you to read the book. It is very hard going, but it is very much worth it. To anyone watching this video uh, that it hits home for, please know you are not alone. Help is available and it is not your fault. Thanks so much everyone and have a great week. Bye.